Shalom. Gonna give all praises to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem Racha Kodash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father who the world calls God. Yahweh Shah is the true name of the Messiah, the Lord's only begotten Son, who the world only calls Jesus. Bahashem in the name Racha Kodash, the Holy Spirit. Gonna give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Muslim and Ruel, and peace, blessings, and salutations to the hopeful elect scattered abroad. So, brother, you want to thong coming with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. Lord's will in this video is edifying. Gonna get straight to the point on this lesson, not gonna make it too long. Gonna read a couple precepts and we'll close out. But this article is coming from the sun. And it was posted, you know, a little, you know, a little while ago, about a week ago. But this is what it reads. It says hell on earth. And that's right, man. We in hell right now, man. We living in hell. But horror, mystery, illness, where victims vomit blood and die within hours. Kills 15 and leaves 50 critical in Tanzania, man. And, you know, uh, let me grab... Let me grab a quick precept, um, because you know this, this how you know you know we are closer to the end, man. Because you know the Lord is just truly showing Himself, man. And you know, in the world they have this um, not depiction, but you know they think of the Lord as you know someone that loves, you know, and that's true. Someone that forgives, you know. But the Lord is also, you know, a uh, austere man, or, or, or he's a, a, you know, power of war. You know, you, you understand? It's the same power that, you know, swept, wiped, the, uh, you know, with water, a whole, you know, not only did he destroy Sodom and Gomorrah, you know, plenty of times in the scriptures, you know, it shows you, you know, the Lord was about business, man. But, you know, the world just, you know, continues to play. With Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, man. They want to keep doing what they want to do. They don't want to turn back. That's why the Lord is, you know, showing his hands, man. Now, this is uh, 2 Timothy. Sec uh, this is uh, 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 1. This, uh, this know also that in the last days, perilous times shall come, man. And that's right, man. We've seen that more and more with these new variants. You know, um, right now, the what's going on with Texas? And then this, man, it's going to be plague after plague. You know, uh, you know, more things are going to uh, show up. Uh, verse 2, for men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, bolsters, proud, blasphemers, disobedience to parents, unthankful, unholy. Uh, verse three, without natural uh, natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers, and in content, uh, fierce despisers of those that are good. Verse four, traitors, heady, high minded, lovers of pleasures more than the lovers of the Most High, man, and that's why. This place is about to be judged, man. Not only, you know, judgment for, you know, Esau, Edom, these so-called white people, but, you know, two-thirds of our people. When I say that, I'm speaking, you know, the Israelites, the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans, man. Because, you know, going, to verse, uh, going back to verse 4, you know, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of the Most High, man. And that's what these people are, man. You know, they love what they got going on right now, what, you know, what Esau, you know, made you know they love that you know they rather continue and stay in you know babylon spiritual egypt they rather stay here than you know and, and live it up and build than rather come back to the most high that's why the most high is showing his hands and you know truly you know showing this you know sh you know showing all these you know perilous things man because you know you know, people do are doing what they want to do, man. People are following what they want to follow, man. They don't want to come back. So that's why two-thirds of our people, you know, got to be destroyed, man, on this side, man. And all you other nations, man, because y'all want to do what y'all want to do. Now, this is um, uh, Luke. Uh, 
this is Luke chapter 21. This is Luke chapter 21, verse 11. And it reads, And great earthquakes shall be in diverse places, and famine, and pestilence, and fearful sights, and great signs shall be, uh, Salakia, and great signs shall there be from the heavens, man. And this is, you know, this might be bad for the world. You know, the world doesn't, you know, the world is in panic. The world don't know what's going on. But this is a great sign to us, man, because why? We know, going back to, you know, Timothy, the third chapter, uh, second Timothy, the third chapter, man, you know, in the end times, we will see all these things, man. So, you know, we are rejoicing, you know, because we know, you know, 2021, the year of hastening the coming of Yahweh Bashim Yahshua, man. And that's the mindset that we are in, man. We know that, you know, things got to get worse before they get better, man. But these other people, man, they truly don't know what's going on, man. They, you know, you know, they think that all this stuff, you know, that doesn't have no meaning to it, man. And, you know, some people think that this is you know, Esau, and it is, es you know, Esau might be, you know, creating these things or, you know, going back to the Texas, they saying that his heart, you know what I'm saying? That is Esau, but it's the, actually the heavenly father that's, you know, using Esau, man. Now, this is Isaiah chapter 45. This is Isaiah chapter 45, verse 7. I form light and I create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things, man. So this is the Lord doing this, man. And it's going to, you know, again, it's only going to, it's going to get worse before it gets better, man. But, you know, the man of the Lord that's doing this work, following after Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, you know, we are rejoicing in these times, man, because we have, we put, we have faith and we have our trust, you know, in the Lord, knowing that he's going to, you know, deliver us out these times, man. So, you know. It's only going to get worse before it gets better, man. And, you know, again, you know, we want to see more, man. We want to see, you know, more of this, man, because, you know, again, you know, going back to um the second Peter, you know, you know, uh, let me get it again. And it says this know also that in the last days, perilous times shall come. So we know. We closer, man. We we close to these last days, cause what we seeing, you know, this crown royale one nine, uh, these new variants, you know, this more and more, uh, the things that's going on around the world. So you know that just tells you that you know, you know, um, we closer, you know, to the end, man. And let me get this. That's why, you know, speaking for myself, first and foremost, uh, speaking for myself, you know that. That's why we got to, you know, gird up our loins and, you know, get right with the Lord. Because in those times, you know, who will deliver you out them times, man? These perilous times that's about to come, man. These crazy times that's about to come. Only Yahweh Bashim Yahshua, man, not Esau. Here you have it in Texas, you know, the mayor and the government and not helping those people, man. Because why? They put their trust into man. And the Lord specifically tells us to not put trust in man, to put trust in him. Uh, now, this is uh, Romans chapter 13, verse 11. And, and that, knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than we believe, man. And that's right. So going back, you know, you know, it's time to, you know, to awaken out of sleep, man, because, you know, our salvation is nearer than we believe, man. So, you know. Uh, you know, stop putting off day, you know, don't put, uh, stop putting off day by day for the Lord, man. Repent now because, you know, it's about to be crazy times coming, man. And, you know, all the brothers are saying this, this might sound like a broken record, but it's true. You know, the prophets are back, you know, telling you. And then when the Lord cuts off this word from here, you're going to wish that you would have, you know, listened and hearkened, man. So, you know, it's only going to get worse before it gets better, man. I think, you know, that's what I might title this lesson. But, you know, that's all I wanted to bring out because, you know, I'll leave the the the, the link in the description where you can read it. But, um, you know, that just showing you that, you know, it says that 
uh, mystery illness where victims vomit blood and die within hours, man. You know, I just show you that the Lord is really showing his hand, man. All you people playing with the Lord, he's about to show you, man. So, you know, repent while you still can, man. Seek the Lord while he still may be found out here because in them times that's coming, you would have wished that you did, man. So, you know, didn't want to make this lesson too long. Just wanted to get straight to the point. And again, you know, this was posted, you know, about a week ago. Just covering it now, but with that being said, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, or Ha Kodash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Muslim and Aruel, and peace, blessing, and salutations to the hopeful Let's Get Abroad. Till next time, Shalom and Abal Gabar.